Good afternoon from Long and Scott Farms. We are here for our annual tradition of getting lost in a corn maze. <laughs> Every fall we come out here and we get lost in a corn maze. So this year will be no different. <laughs> so yeah, let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. So we have our little map here because we paid our admission and it was $15 a piece for admission to the corn maze and a hayride. And they've got fun little word game in here and a scavenger hunt. And then here is actually a map that you need a secret set of glasses to see or some of the little stands out in the maze have a red tint piece of glass that you can use to see the map and figure out where you're at. Should we do it? Yeah, let's do it. Oh, look, they have prickly pears here. I don't think those are actually for sale, but it's neat to see them growing. All right, Jen, make sure you watch your child. <laughs> now we have to go in here and watch a video first. They have some examples of previous year corn mazes. I wonder what this year's looks like. Use the letters that appear in the circles to help you de-scramble the word for Poppy's word jumble. Alright, we're gonna go through the tunnel. There's also a super slide that Tim should have gone down. Okay, I'll go down the slide. Well, I... I was just trying to like be with you and not have you feel like you're missing out because you're pregnant and you can't go down the slide. Yeah, okay. Alright. Here we go. Oh! Oh! oh no, I lost my thing. Oh no. Oh, I didn't make it all the way down. Oh darn it. All right, here it is. We need to remember this maze so that we can get out. Should we just take a picture of it? Is that cheating? Well, I, think, I think that's what this is, right? Well, yeah, but then you have to, you can't look at it all the time. Oh yeah. But if we take a picture of it, we can just follow it all the way through. <laughs> first off, we need to get some sustenance. Get like a hamburger or something like that first before we go into the maze. Oh no, it's time. We're going in. <laughs> They give us a flag so that if we get in trouble, we just stick the flag up and wave it around. Hopefully we don't have to use it. Yeah, hopefully not. Which color are you getting? You getting an American flag or a red flag? flag. All right. Yeah. Oh no, are you in trouble already? We haven't even started yet. <laughs> These are amazing rules. No making messes. Critters? What? Oh, you can't bring your dogs in unless they have service vests. Oh, I get it. I okay. feel like Bandit would hate this corn maze. Oh, Bandit would get so scared. He would be terrible oh, yeah. at it. Also. You can't eat the corn, because this isn't actual corn that you could eat. It's for the cows. But here's some right here. Some corn right there. We have the best game plan. Like, we, we took a picture of the map, which I wouldn't suggest doing unless you're cheaters like us. Also, the corn's not grown very high yet, because it's still the beginning of the season, so we can, like, see all around. But towards the end of the season, this corn's going to be super tall. Colonel B. Cobb's Word Game. Good nutrition is key to a healthy body, mind, and spirit. A balanced breakfast might include high fiber cereal, low fat milk, and fruit. What? What's the question? Is this just telling me facts? Oh, is it breakfast and I don't know. I need to look at the map. Oh, the word is breakfast. Okay, and then you write breakfast in there, and then you write vegetables in there. Okay, now we know. This doesn't, this is just for fun. Like, you don't get anything for completing these tasks, but it'll be fun, right? Day 64 in the corn maze. We're thinking about setting up a flare. <laughs> I, this is this is corn maze ASMR. Oh wait, which, which oh, wait. Are we in you gotta you gotta do corn maze ASMR. Listen. That's so calming. Look at this little character. His name is Poppet, and he's gonna give us a clue. We're gonna slide the map under, and then we can figure out where we are, because it will it uses maze o vision. Oh wow! Look at that. Wait, so where are we? So we're in the H right there at the one, and like that's what that's how we know. Somewhere on here it says one, but that's where we're at right now. And we need to get to this D here so we can go up here and then down here and then back up here and then over here and then up here and then out. You Is guys that remember the secret, that? That's the secret exit. It's the though, secret so we exit. Might not be able to find it. Well, I think we'll, I think it'll just be a hole that we just go <laughs> out of. Or we could stay in the maze for hours and then make it out of this exit. We're doing the abbreviated version. Day 132. The corn is starting to look as if we could eat it, <laughs> but we must. Hear, it's funny to hear all the other people in like the rows around us. Oh yeah, the corn's getting taller though over here. Look at how tall it is right here. Everybody's like singing songs and stuff. Well, they're like, where do, how do we get out of this place? <laughs> oh no, we caught up to somebody else. I wonder if they know how to get out of here. They probably didn't cheat like we did. Uh, a lot of people probably, <laughs> oh look, we're into a different color ribbon now. We made it. Oh, there's another one of those stands there. We should go see the stand. Okay. Right here. What are we in now? We're in the D. This is the one that we got to get out of. Oh. But I wanted to look at this stand here. Oh, 
Oh yeah, right there. This is in the D. Okay. Oh, we we jumped to seven and eight. We missed some. Oh man. Oh darn. All right. Well, water and attitude from Colonel B. Cobb. Oh yeah, this is awesome. Whoa, look at that. What is it? We got a long runway. Oh. Of people headed towards us. Oh no. What if we're going the wrong way? Oh no. We got a little bit lost, and now we are making our way back to a place that we think we should have made a turn, and we didn't. Little bird, tell me the way out, little bird. <laughs> Please, sir, help us. Oh no, I forgot which way I was supposed to go. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to stick with it. That's what it was. Gotta stick to it, and then I can get up on this bridge here. Look at how exciting, we made it to a bridge. Oh, we did it. We made it up onto the crosswalk. So that's a good sign. We're doing good. I feel like we're halfway there. We are right? halfway. Yes, you are. You're in the center. Oh, we did it. We're in the center. So we can either do the secret exit over here, which I think is what we'll do because we can just kind of go. Where are we? We're right here. Oh. Oh, we're actually right here. And so we just need to like go across there and make a first right and then go out the exit as opposed to going here and then making a left and going through all of this and then back underneath, and then out. That's too long. We're just gonna go through here, right? So, now that we're here, we just need to cut across and make our first right. Let's do it. I think we have a plan. So Jen has all of the stuff here. She's got her solar umbrella, she's got her fan, she's got a coolie towel. And we'll put links in the description to all of these things. They're so amazing. They come in really handy. Especially if you're here in the summertime or at any time in Florida, you'll like you'll want these. All right, Jen's in charge now. We're just going straight, right? Oh, look, here's another thing where we can look at the map. Should we? Oh yeah, and it tells us exactly where we are in the map, so that's okay. good to know. So that way we can double make sure that we're in the right spot. Let's see here. There are two picture and two word stations in the white one. All right, so we're at three. Does this say three on it somewhere? Oh no, so one, two, oh yeah. So we're at three right here. So we just need to kind of go through there and pop out. Okay. Ooh. We're doing it. All right, I think we're almost there. I believe in us. <laughs> we can do it. I used to believe in us. I still believe in us. Well, it's uh, just because we're in a maze. You can't be sure in a maze. There's never a 100% sure, reliable way out of a maze. Because you're supposed to get scared and be lost. I think we're doing it though. Is this it? Is this the exit? Uh, oh, there it is! We did it! Did we do it? We found the exit. We're heading out. Oh no, I cheated. Oh no. <laughs> we all cheated together. Well, yeah, that's how, that's like, we were only in there for 10 minutes. If we hadn't cheated, we would have been in there for an hour. I lied when I said 10 minutes. We were probably in there for like 20. You think 20? So like half the time? Yeah. Okay, that's not so bad. I think you could spend 30, like 50 minutes in there doing the entire maze because we didn't get into the green section. I think we could spend even longer, but I didn't, it's very hot. So I like the 10 minute route. Yeah, now we got to go get on a cor on a, a hayride. There's also another smaller maze in the front up here for the kids, I guess, in case you're too scared to go into the big one. Look at this awesome Chevy. I like how they painted it in their garage though. You can tell by the dripping paint here and up here. I wonder what color it was before. They also have a little playground here where you can play on some tires. And they have a bouncing pillow. It's like a giant inflatable trampoline almost, but just not as bouncy as a trampoline. Oh, some face painting over here. They have kids fishing, where you can go fishing in the, uh, the little lake here. They have a gigantic playground over there. All right, before we head out to the hayride, I'm gonna try this slide one more time, see if I don't get stuck on it again. Have fun. Thank you. Whoa! Oh, oh, I fell off again. Oh, ow, oh, oh, jeez. Ow, okay. I did it. <laughs> There's a little photo op here where you can say that you got bagged at Scott's Maze Adventures because you went down the slide on a bag. You like go down on a little burlap sack. Burlap sack. Burlap sack? I don't know if I showed you guys that. So you get one of those little sacks and you take it up to the top and you sit on it and then you slide down. Tales tell us of a swamp filled with cucumbers. This is where cucumbers go when their time is up. The spooky cucumber swamp. There we go, we're getting on the hayride. Seems to be very little hay on this hayride. There's the tractor that's gonna be towing us. Oh, is he putting it in gear? It's like pretty legit. Right, it looks pretty awesome. 
Ooh. Hello, welcome to Scott's Maze Adventure He's not here saying on that. Scott Farms. What? And thank you for coming to visit us today. You're welcome. This is pretty nice and relaxing. We appreciate hundreds of I really of like this feel. It's very calming. Minute. We've been farming this same land for 55 years. 55 we years. That we are diligent in caring for our land. Farmers are the first and original environmentalists. It is imperative that we are a good steward of our land and natural resources because they are our most important asset. Riding through a farm. We rotate crops through our the perfect Florida day. By growing vegetables in the fall, winter, and spring season. These are these pickled cucumbers. Pickled cucumbers as far as the eye can see. They have all these surplus military trucks that they use for picking. Must weigh at least Pretty interesting. Pounds. All the cabbage is packed in the field. Dang it, we needed these little tiny pumpkins. We could have gotten a whole shopping cart full here. Also, you can buy stalks of corn. Ooh, you can buy all kinds of spooky gourds. These gourds are scary looking. There's a country cafe. Haha, <laughs> you're inside now, you can't get out. I like this turkey. He's wearing a Santa's hat and celebrating Halloween. So we got a pumpkin milkshake, like a pumpkin spice milkshake. We're gonna give it a try, see if it's as good as the one as Deluxe. Probably won't be. Well, maybe it will be. That's good for you guys. Oh, yeah. It tastes like vanilla. Oh, really? Yes. Oh, dang. That's weird. Even the color. Look at the color. There's a little pumpkin spice in there. I, I like watch them put actual pumpkin stuff in there. Yeah. Ooh. Look at this. They have all kinds of stuff over here, like cucumber baskets. Yeah. Dill pickle spears for seven dollars. Well, that looks very expensive. Yeah, some cilantro. Ooh, they have okra. Black-eyed peas. I've never seen black-eyed peas, like in the actual part of it. Like, do you see this, Jen? Yeah. This is what black-eyed peas look like on the on the plant. Yeah, my grandparents used to grow these. I had no idea. Yeah. They look very similar to green beans. <laughs> they do. Ooh, they have farm fresh ice cream. Farm fresh SpongeBob popsicles. <laughs> Jen, I love you more than candy corn. I don't really like candy corn. Candy corn is the grossest candy, so that's not really saying much. I feel bad for whoever gets this. Oh, no. Wait, are these pickled flavored candy canes? Or are they just pickled colored candy canes? Oh my goodness, I need to know. I need to know more about these candy canes. Fancy pickle flavored. <gasps> oh no. Are you gonna eat it? I'm gonna do this. They're $10. Yeah, but where else are you going to find pickled candy canes? That's true. All right. I hope you guys are ready for the best part of the day. <laughs> I'm going to try the pickle candy cane. Also... So is it mint and dill? No, I think it's just pickle flavor. Okay. Also, just in case, porta potties are right here. <laughs> yeah. So I can run off and like... Kind of tastes like cardboard. Does it? Doesn't taste like a pickle? No. I mean, it like... This much tastes like a pickle. Let me try it. Okay. Oh, it smells like dill. It is kind of like minty. What? No, it's not minty at all. Yeah, it is. It tastes like mint and dill. It tastes nothing like but mint. But dill like a dill, like the herb, not like a dill pickle. Do you know what no, I mean? There's no sourness to it. It tastes like sugar and dill. It's not bad though. That's weird. Yeah, I would eat a lot of uh, dill candy canes. Yeah. You know how mint, like actual mint is like herby, but also minty? That's kind of like what this tastes like. Like wintergreen. Interesting. Hmm. So there you have it. That was our annual trip to Long and Scott Corn Maze here in Mount Dora. It was fun. Yeah. Oh, so Mount Dora, in case you guys are wondering, it, how far away from Orlando is it? pretty far it's like an hour and a half away from like north of Orlando but if you're over in this area and you find yourself wanting to go to a corn maze I would come here yeah I think that this is the best corn maze that we have been to that we found in the Orlando area mm -hmm. there was last year I did two mazes one was a quote-unquote corn maze that was not corn but it was super fun because I got to ride in like a weird five, 55 gallon drum train. I'll put the video, thing. I'll link that video down below so you guys can check it out if you yeah. want. And then I came out here. Yeah. And, and this it was one good. was definitely the better maze. Yeah. But oh. I had a good time. I liked the hayride. It was relaxing. Yeah, it was well worth the $2 that we paid for it. But I will say the hayride at um, Citrus of Showcase, or Showcase of Citrus, was better. 
I don't know if that was, would that be, would you consider that a hayride? Oh, sorry, no, it was like a monster truck ride. <laughs> but That's an extreme hayride. <laughs> it was better, you got more like um, personalized information, I think. Yeah, so. this one you were listening to a recording, there you were hearing a guy talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but all in all, fantastic day. day. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we're back home, and before the end of the video, I wanted to give you guys a quick update on some of the statuses of the pumpkins. The top row's doing pretty good. This Mickey Mouse over here's doing pretty good. Oh no, this one's not doing so good. Put it down on the ground and show them like how melty it is. I don't, I don't feel so good, Mr. Walt. <laughs> yeah, I figured we would come out here and kind of keep you guys updated on the pumpkins as they progress in the Florida heat. And this is our first casualty. This is Jen's one over here, and it's uh, you can see it starting to kind of go down a little bit around the mouth. This one just completely collapsed. And thus concludes our annual corn maze day. It was corn-tastic. It really was. We had a really corny day. We had fun, and actually we this is the fastest that we've ever made it through the corn maze. Yeah. So I feel like if you go and you don't want to spend 45 to like 50 minutes in this corn maze, you should just take a picture of the corn maze and really trace your steps. Yeah. I mean, it was fun to also get lost in previous years. Yeah. But. It was also very hot still here in Florida. I think tracing your steps is the way to go. Yeah. I will say too, just really quick, if you go to Long and Scott's and you, uh, they, they kind of like tell you to go eat in the um, food area that's like out by the corn maze. Yeah. They have a cafe in the market that looked really delicious. Yeah. We saw other people's foods and we tried that pumpkin milkshake, which was good, but not like the most pumpkin flavor. Yeah, it wasn't as good as the one from Deluxe. No, it really wasn't. But that one's amazing. Everybody else's food looks so good and they had so many different choices. It smelled so good too. It really did. So yeah. I would recommend eating in that marketplace if you go. Yeah, but we didn't eat there. So maybe like, I don't know, let us know if you do eat there. It let smelled, us know if it was good. It smelled really good. Yeah, but all in all, fantastic day. Mm -hmm. And so with that being said, we are off and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Hi, I'm Andrew and now it's time to pay the price.